<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. Today, we're going to be talking about a theory in Flash Season 5. Is Reverse Flash helping out Nora? Uh, the theory is, basically, Reverse Flash is Mr. Mills in the Flash Museum, who is, like, the curator of the museum. Right. Um, there's been a lot of hints this season, going back to, like, the the Wells Reverse Flash. Yeah. Like, like, past couple episodes, there was even, like, Sherlock Wells' last episode even kind of gave us a big hint, not really towards Reverse Flash, but towards... Someone mm, helping Nora. Someone helping Nora, that she's not making all the decisions herself. Punching a falling satellite, right? And yet, that is the moment when you made the decision to act, altering the course of history forever. That decision... Did you come to it on your own? And after that scene, I was like, because a lot of people have been talking about, it seems like even before the season even started, that Reverse Flash is coming back this season. Like, that's been a big thing. I feel like people just were hoping for it, and now they're looking into every single thing for it. Right. Uh, but I feel like they kind of are teasing us with that. Well, there was a lot this last episode. And even in the first, we literally got almost like a flashback in the first one. Yeah. To yeah. how he, when he was teaching uh, Nora how to, like, phase into the airplane and all that. Uh, but this theory, I wrote down some stuff that could kind of prove that this theory is true. Mm-hmm. So that it goes that he's the, that Wells or Earbud Thon, however you want to think about him, Reverse Flash, he is pretending to be the curator of the museum, pretending to be Mr. Mills, which would parallel season one with Barry and uh, Wells, which yeah. I, I could totally see them doing that. They already kind of are paralleling a lot of things for season there one. Is a, there is a lot. That that looks like season one. Yeah, and I, I could see that, and like they both got tricked. Like, oh, we both got tricked by the same man. That's crazy, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> no. But so like I could see that uh, Reverse Flash in the comics. They don't really go into it too much in this, but he's a he, Flash fanboy. So, mm-hmm. I, and in the comics, kind of recently, they did uh, a story where Zoom, another version of Reverse Flash, um, he was kind of a curator of the Flash Museum and sent, like, a future Captain Cold and stuff like that. Like, a different story, but he was basically hiding out in the Flash Museum. Oh, so it right. is a kind of recent thing where Reverse Flash has done that. So I can see, it, it, at least it's been done, so it's possible. Something like that. Right. I already mentioned the parallel season one pretty good. Uh, she basically grew up in the Flash Museum, so, like, she would be there all the time and probably get to know the curator there pretty well. Right. Um. So they would give him quite a bit of time to... to, to get like, his yeah. Basically how Wells was with Barry. He spent most of his time with them, and they became pretty good friends and then betrayed him. Yeah, he was his mentor. Um, And I wrote this down. I, I heard this. I don't really necessarily think this would happen, but uh, it's possible that she could spend so much time with him that she got comfortable enough to tell him who she is. Like, oh, my God, you know, it's funny enough. I'm the Flash's daughter. My name is Nora Allen. I think if anything like that was to happen, I think Reverse Flash would already know. I think Eurobike Thrawn is so smart. Oh yeah, I for think sure. he would know right off the bat. Yeah, uh, I feel yeah, like I don't. I don't feel like he would be in that situation unless he knew. Yeah, I don't think he'd be like yeah. pretend to be the cure to be like, oh shit, what the what daughter of Flash is here? What a coincidence! Like I don't see that happening. No. I feel like that'd be pretty lame if that was yeah. the case. Um, and then one of the last things I wrote down here is her powers are very weak, but yet she can time travel multiple times to specific points. Like she has to be trained by Barry. Yeah, and yet like I feel like. There has to be someone else helping her out, I feel like, to, like, get to these moments. I know she's his daughter, but there's some something's off. Yeah. For sure. Um, and you're right. Like, it's just like how she's, like, she can't, oh, I got an idea how to save Cisco, you know? And then yeah. She, she she saves Cisco, but yeah. Using, it looks like she's thinking last episode, but like, or from previously that they were talked about. But yet, she could have had some inside knowledge on it. Yeah, and then she recognized Cicada. Yeah, she rec- she recognized him. Like she's changing stuff. It it, it feels too much of a coincidence. I feel like for it not yeah. to even if she's. I don't necessarily think she's evil. A lot of people think maybe she's Reverse Flash or <sighs> she's evil. I don't. I, that's that's possible. I don't kind of necess- lean in that way, I don't but necess- I. It, I feel like especially because next week something happens, she gets, like, dark flash energy, I don't know, yeah. and starts attacking Barry. I feel like that's too soon to maybe make her be evil. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I, w- I was kind of thinking that, like, maybe she is reverse flash, but then mm-hmm. I feel like they're they're it's too soon to have her, like, yeah. messing with Barry. That would be a very dark and 
I think, cool twist if he was like if he did the same thing he did to Wells and became Barry's daughter, and then went back in time and did all that. Because I mean, you can then you could put oh, it's comics like they beat Reverse Flash, and then in a couple of years, Iris gets pregnant and they make it not happen. Yeah, like they could do really anything. Yeah, um, espe- and especially because it, it won't fuck up his storyline because his is so convoluted, time traveling it won't even matter. Right. Uh, but I feel like that would be a very very neat thing to do but I, I don't necessarily think that that's the, I don't think she's going to be the evil twist I especially because she is a series regular too I, I feel like that's what I want to happen I don't know if I mm-hmm. necessarily believe it's going to happen but I, I could see if he's coming back it, it would either be one one or two ways and I think Nora would be the second way yeah um, and if not because I don't think she would do anything bad against Barry but it she does seem to like have some kind of ulterior motive. Yes, and like, and I, she did mention, and I feel like this would be the way that Eubarthon would find his in. Is she says the first episode, which they haven't really mentioned again since then, that her she, when she was doing the monologue, she's like, "All right, now I'm going to stop that crisis or whatever." She says the event to stop her dad from disappearing. My name is Nora West Allen, and I'm the fastest woman alive. When I was a child, my father disappeared in something impossible. Then I grew up and became the impossible. Now I'm trying to live up to the legacy he created so that one day I'll stop him from ever disappearing. I'm excess. How shway is that? Mm. She, uh, she was probably obsessed with that, constantly talking about that at the Flash Museum. And if your right. Thon's the curator, he could be like, you know, if you go to this specific moment right here, it's so little, it won't affect much, but it'll stop him from disappearing. And she could have been like, okay, and did that, and then be like, oh, fuck, now I'm stuck. And oh, now Sakata's here. And then, uh, but and, she and then that could have opened. That could have changed in just enough time that maybe Reverse Flash can come back. Yeah, she wasn't stuck though. Remember, she just lied about that. Yeah, I guess so. that's true. But I feel like it it could have could have changed. Like that could maybe he maybe even then she could have lied about that. She could also lied about some other things. I think, and maybe there's subtle things that she's gonna try to change throughout time that she thinks is gonna stop Barry from disappearing. Is but is really gonna maybe e- either cause his disappearance or cause Reverse Flash to come back. I, as much as they've harped on when she needs to learn stuff, mm-hmm. I feel like she's doing this under someone else's power, and then like it's gonna cost them, and then she's gonna realize that she's she's doing too much, and yeah, and that'll be like the lesson, you know. Mm-hmm. And and they they have mentioned that epi- I think it's episode seven is the mid season finale, maybe eight. It's right before the crossover. There's gonna be a big cliffhanger. They've kind of already said that, which is weird you announced as a cliffhanger, but... Yeah, that is weird. Um, they've already said that, and that is the 100th episode of The Flash. So yeah. that would be perfect to reveal, oh, it's Reverse Flash is this season's big bag of Cicada, but it's only it for like eight episodes. Yeah. Uh, I, Although, s- I don't know how they get rid of Cicada, because he seems to be able to just kick their ass. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Uh, it would be... Unless I, Reverse Flash I, comes and gets rid of him. That I feel like that would be really cool, though, too, especially because, like... Last season and the season before, the villains kind of dragged on a little bit too long, and they even they've mentioned that in this season leading up that they learned that's why they structured this season differently, uh-huh. as to have a twenty three episode arc villain, is maybe have it so like they were getting little hints of the big villain and he's not going to show up till the second half of the season. Mm. I think that that would be cool because then like we, yeah, it, it'd make it more interesting. Yeah, um, I mean if there's a big reveal, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. When, when did they reveal that? Um, Reverse Flash was Harrison Wells in the season one. It, I don't think it was the mid-season finale. That that's when they fought. But I, I think they actually did. I think at the end, I think at the end, Barry knew, but maybe no one else did. Oh, really? Something like that. Because okay. I remember him going into like his his lab, and like people were there. But it might have just been him and Joe. I don't and remember. It was b- I remember it being very weird. Yeah. 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 Th- th- so it could be the case again. They could be doing the same thing, except I like could a see twist people, on it. I especially because they brought his lab back too. If it is, if it is him, I could see people like saying that they're just copying season one. Yeah. But I could see other people liking it. I would. Kinda, I would really like it. But I'm also a huge fanboy. Kind of so. like Star Wars. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, oh, yeah. It's just the same For- thing. Force Awakens a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. But yeah, comment down below what you think of this theory. If you think Reverse Flash is coming back, if you have a different theory, let us know that as well. And let us know what you're thinking about this season of Flash. I'm really liking it. I yeah, think so I think so adding good. Nora is a cool little spin on it. Yeah, and the fact that we don't totally trust her, even though she's their kid, is kind of yeah. Cool. Yeah, I really like Sherlock Wells too. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave your feedback in the comment section down below, and we'll see you guys next time. How shway is that?